Here in Cincinnati, several same-sex couples headed to the clerk's office today to get their marriage licenses after hearing today's decision. One couple we talked with just had their wedding a few weeks ago. They never thought their marriage would be legal in the eyes of the law this soon. I think this legitimizes it for everyone else. I think to us, it, it's not that big of a deal. We were getting married either way. It didn't matter whether the state said we could or not, but um, this makes it real in the eyes of the law. And just an hour ago, five couples were married in a mass wedding on Fountain Square. In fact, Cincinnati's Mayor John Cranley, who has been a supporter of same sex marriage, officiated the ceremonies. And earlier today, Judge Bernie Bouchard married the first two same sex couples in his courtroom in Hamilton County. WLWT News Science Jackie Conjado is live for us downtown with the local man whose fight made that ceremony possible. Jackie. Yes, Sheree, well, this day in Jim Obergefell's name will certainly be written in the history books, but his battle to get the state of Ohio to legally recognize his marriage dates back several years. He and John Arthur were married in Maryland in 2013 after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down part of the Defense of Marriage Act. Arthur died of ALS three months later. But because of Ohio's same-sex marriage ban, the Buckeye State would not recognize Obergefell on Arthur's death certificate. They got a temporary injunction here at the state level, and Obergefell has been in Washington for weeks now as the lead plaintiff in the case that made history today. Shortly after the decision came down, Obergefell got a personal phone call from President Obama himself. Your leadership on this, you know, is uh, change, change the country. I. I really appreciate that, Mr. President. It's really been an honor for me to be involved in this fight and to have been able to, you know, fight for my marriage and live up to my commitments to my husband. Of course, today's decision has very wide ranging and immediate impacts. We were there as Judge Bernie Bouchard married the first two same sex couples here in Hamilton County and then. As you mentioned, Cherie, just a little while ago, Mayor John Cranley officiating a ceremony uh, marrying five same-sex couples right here on Fountain Square. We're going to have much more about uh, both of those things coming up at 6. Reporting live on Fountain Square tonight, Jackie Conjato, WLWT News 5. All right, Jackie, thank you. The historic ruling comes right in the middle of Cincinnati's Pride Week, too. The annual parade is tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning downtown. The parade will be followed by a festival at Sawyer Point. More than 60,000 people are expected to attend.